hello guys in this VI tutorial I'm going to show you some things about this text editor maybe you're not that excited but we will we will talk about it and let's try to learn something about it alright so what you will learn in this VI tutorial alright so first um, if you don't know many people's first experience with VI is when they are in a rush to get something done you know in, in which case uh, it can be problematic when you don't have time to learn the editor. This tutorial will get you to that to the stage in about um, 10 minutes or something like that, where you can run BI, load the file, make a basic edit, and save it again. So before we start, it um, it will be good to know um, why bother to learn BI and this is an additional information and I'm giving it to you because I'm a cool guy so um, there are so many reasons actually but um, for example um, sometimes is the only available editor actually is a screen based text editor available on all Unix like OS that's totally true and um, other reason could be when you log on remotely to SSH for example to a Unix Lite host from a Mac or PC only a text editor like VI or Emacs can be used to edit files in a text only terminal window that's pretty, pretty important if you if you wanna work with Linux or if you wanna go um, um, via, via um, SSH for example or remote terminal it, it is pretty pretty useful um, another reason can be mouse movements uh, slow down the touch typeface. In BI requires none. BI requires none mouse movements. That's pretty pretty awesome. Um, as I mentioned, BI is the editor sure to be on every every Unix-like computer in the world. So let's get started with some basic examples we are in the terminal and I actually I have a file for you with every every basic command so you, you don't need to memorize everything while, while I'm while I'm showing it to you because um, after all you can you can have the file or or download it it, uh, it, uh, it doesn't or or learn learn in learn the the commands from the same file. For example, I have the file here, the example.txt. So to open it, just type vi and the name of the file. It's that simple, guys. So now we have here the file in our terminal. So mm, the for to to work with vi, you need to you really need to learn two things first. That's why we have the warning sentence here. B has two modes: the command mode and the insert mode. Mm, th this this is pretty annoying in the beginning, but uh, after mm, some practice, it will re it will really get better. Don't worry about it. It's just pretty common. So two modes, and these are the f the commands. That we need to edit the file, and that's all. These are the lines that you need to 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 learn. That's that that's all you need. And here, moving cursor is just moving cur the cursor is just an extra information. Because um, what is uh, what is really special in VI is that you you don't need here, you you don't need arrow keys, but you can use them to move. For example, I use I use them to move between lines, but you can all um, um, work with BI in a keyboard, for example, without um, arrow keys. I, I I don't think you're that poor. Um, I think you have a, a keyboard with <laughs> arrow keys. But anyway, if you if you don't have it, in, in you can work in in BI. Don't worry about it. So. This is just extra information. Don't worry about it. And um, we are 
are now in command mode. As I said, we have two modes, command mode and insert mode. When we want to add data or, or we want to, to add text to our file, we, we, we will need to be in insert mode. That's all. And for, for to use other commands and other things, we will need to be always in command mode. So insert mode is just to add data, add text. That's all. So we're now in command mode because we're not adding any line, any text. So that let's do a f um, a, an example. Le uh, let's say that we want to add some some text. We can do it in two ways. Pressing the letter I will 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 get us in insert mode. And and the text that we're type we're typing we will be inserted before the character. Or if you want to, you can use A, and the and uh, uh, pressing A will be um, starting the ins insert mode, and the text that you type will be inserted after the character. Is ju just that the difference? And bo both of them are useful. But let's say I'm here. So I press I. Now I'm in insert mode. So let's say for example hello blue wall a and you, you have to know that I'm still in insert mode for example if I keep typing it keeps writing so I need to co um, come back to um, command mode you know and here's the, so the solution command mode to enter command mode press the escape key that's all so I press escape key and now in I'm in command mode again. It's that simple. I you just need to to remember it. You're typing then escape and you 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 go back to command mode. That's all. So um just try to remember that but because it's pretty common when you're typing then you want to 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 use a command and <laughs> then you realize that you're still in insert mode <laughs> and you're typing as a text not as a command and that's why I put here a warning on that that is the the main error when you're learning VA so let's say now that we want to delete this piece of shit that I wrote so for that I of course I need to be in command mode as you know, because every command we will use will be in command mode, not in insert mode. So here is the command X. It it is for delete character. So I go here on the character and just press X, 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 and now I'm deleting character by character. That's all, and I'm still in command mode. I don't need to to press escape. So that's to delete character by character. Let's say that I insert some data here, some text. And let's say that this is my first file using BI. That's all. Um, and here I write B doesn't need arrow keys. But you can use them and now I'm still in insert mode as you know so I press escape now I'm in command mode again and let's say that the last line was just the, the big mistake of my entire life <laughs> and, and I want to delete it but I don't want to delete it um, letter by letter you know pressing X the whole time Th that is pretty awful so I just want to delete the whole line and the command for that for that is D D that's all D D so I press I, I go to I go to that line here I press D D that's all it's that simple that's all you need for editing simple text now that we know how to do it um, we, we, we just need to learn 
a few commands to get out of, of BI. So, for example, we we did these changes, and we want to to save it, and the command for that is write. So basically, as every command, you need to need to be in command mode, and I and I am in command mode actually. So just type column and you 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 gotta notice uh, when when you type colon uh, bi knows that your you will use a command to get out of b or do something similar you know so uh, the, your your line goes here at the bottom of the the terminal it's good to know that and so and uh, you you press colon then double b and the exclamation mark is that simple enter now our file is saved and we're gonna get out of b we're gonna get out of b for that here's the command quit and and the, the command is colon q and the exclamation mark as you know so let's press colon q sorry q and the exclamation mark enter is that simple guys we did some changes and now we're back to the terminal we want to check out our text and as we as you see here are our changes in, in the file and we did a good job and but actually I, I don't really use qui uh, quit and quit because y you just want to save and quit uh, most of times you know and so basically I, I, I mostly use uh, write and quit and quit sorry write and quit and quit quit sorry <laughs> uh, write and quit at the same time uh, it's uh, for that you just need to be in command mode as every uh, command and just uh, type zz uh, but on uppercase so for that I'm on command mode and I just wanna type zz on uppercase and, and for mm, to do that I just um, press shift zz and that's uppercase for me I don't know how you have your keyboard so that's save and and um, sorry save and quit uh, let's try it for example let's write um, bye bye and shift zz sorry <laughs> that's m m my mistake I was in insert mode so I have to delete it bye bye that's all now I'm in command mode shift zz and let's see if yeah here is my change the change that I did it saved and I quit at the same time pretty useful and we just need to learn another command this will be the last command but it's, it is pretty pretty useful it calls reload and as the name say says is just it just reload the, the whole first document uh, for example let's say that I'm pretty pretty noob and I'm here and I don't know how to use BI and I'm deleting these these lines and now I'm inserting and and now I'm deleting deleting and I did a lot of mistakes I'm a terrible noob and and I just wa wanna go back to my my file and because I didn't I didn't save the, s the file so just type you need to be in command mode colon you know colon and type E and the exclamation mark that's all H and is reloaded that that's all you need to know guys so, um, thank you for watching and, and, and enjoy it see you next time